New information now at noon, a stunning revelation in the investigation into this week's plane crash in the French Alps. Investigators say it appears the co-pilot of German Wings Flight 9525 locked the pilot out of the cockpit and intentionally brought the plane down. ABC's Marcy Gonzalez reports. In the final moments before German Wings Flight 9525 slammed into the French Alps, investigators say the cockpit voice recorder picked up the screams of passengers and the sounds of the pilot who was locked out of the cockpit frantically pounding on the door. The co-pilot at the helm not responding, not unlocking the door. Silent, as investigators say, he hit the button to bring the plane down in a nearly 10-minute long deadly descent. He activated that button for reasons we do not know at all, but which can be analyzed as a willingness to destroy the aircraft. The new revelations gleaned from the cockpit voice recorder recovered at the scene show the flight from Barcelona heading to Dusseldorf, Germany started out normally. After ordinary conversations, the pilot is heard asking the co-pilot to take control as he stepped out of the cockpit, presumably to use the restroom. Investigators say the 28-year-old co-pilot Andreas Lubitz then ignored the pilot's attempts to return and can be heard breathing normally, leading investigators to believe he didn't suffer any kind of medical emergency. We are forced to come to the conclusion that the flight was deliberately crashed. A horrifying realization for families of the 150 people who were on board, including three Americans, that remains still being recovered today. And it's still unclear why the co-pilot did this. Airline officials say he underwent psychological testing as a part of his training and there were no red flags. And investigators say he had no links to terrorism. Marcy Gonzalez, ABC News, New York. An absolute tragedy there. We will have more on this story throughout the day right here on News Channel 9.